there's a couple of things that you want to consider when using liquid chlorine. So first and foremost, liquid chlorine is not stabilized. It does not have its sunscreen on. So when you put it into the pool, if you don't have conditioner or stabilizer in the water, the sun burns it up very quickly. So make sure that you have an acceptable range of conditioner in the water, 30 to 40 parts per million at a minimum. If you don't, use our instant pool water conditioner to raise that level up and make sure that you're adding the protection you need in order to make sure that the liquid chlorine stays in the water and doesn't get burnt up by the sun. The other thing that you need to be aware of is liquid chlorine has a very high pH. That may not be something you're used to because tablets, when you're using tablets to sanitize a pool, they tend to have a little bit of a lower pH. So when using liquid chlorine, your pH in the pool is going to go up on a consistent basis. You have to test frequently and you may need to balance the water frequency. You may need to adjust the pH more often than you're used to. So be ready to add pH decreaser on a fairly regular basis in order to offset that pH increase that comes with using liquid chlorine. Keeping the pH in that 7.4 to 7.6 range that we recommend is a vital part to making your chlorine be as if efficient as possible. High pH leads to lazy chlorine. Lazy chlorine doesn't do a good job in your pool. So make sure that you're balancing the chlorine. The last thing that I want to talk about is using liquid chlorine means you're going to be touching or treating your pool more often than you would have with your tablets that you're used to using. So with tablets, you can put several in the, the feeder or your floater or your skimmer, and you can leave them for several days before you need to, to add more, test the water or check your chlorine residual. With liquid, once you put it in, you put a high level of chlorine in all at one time, but then it immediately starts to go downward. Your residual starts to erode. So you have to check the pool more often. You have to add liquid chlorine more often than you're used to adding tabs. Now, rule of thumb, two tablets in a pool is equal to about one gallon of liquid chlorine. So make sure that you're dosing appropriately. But again, make sure you stabilize or add conditioner. Make sure that you're adjusting the pH and make sure that you're adding liquid chlorine as frequently as you need to to maintain your residual.